With the head of our research department, Marissa Perkins, in Antarctica this week, it was left to me to do the research on tonight's film. Turns out that environmental thrillers have been pretty hot genre for a while now. In addition to recent titles like 2012, Avatar, and tonight's film, The Day After Tomorrow, we saw a rash of environmental thrillers come out in the 90s. Movies like Twister, Volcano, and of course, Steven Seagal's On Deadly Ground. Even Waterworld. Sure, nobody likes to think about Waterworld. But the premise is that global warming melted the ice caps, flooding the planet and causing Kevin Costner to develop gills. Not so outlandish now, eh? But when we talk about environmental films, there's one that clearly towers above the rest. One so original that I would even dare call it groundbreaking. I'm talking, of course, about Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. This 1971 classic has a pollution-fueled monster named Hidora gassing Japan forcing Godzilla to come wading in like John Wayne to take care of business. As usual, all the action is witnessed from the point of view of a short shorts wearing young boy. The film also inexplicably features an acid rock music video and Godzilla achieving flight. Now let's return to The Day After Tomorrow on Magnificent Movie